Hello everyone, this is the pre-market report video for today, 4th June 2024 for the Nature of Market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Finally, it's a judgment day. So, whatever I'm going to say is just my opinion and I can be completely wrong. Please don't make any investment decision based on this. For today's market, based on election results outcome, it will be four scenarios. First, the base and neutral case scenario, BJP alone winning the majority like between 290 to 310 seats and the alliances all NDA together winning 330 seats. In this scenario, worst case, market might fell up to 2% because of yesterday's furious rally but as I said, it's a okay scenario. Then the best very good scenario will be BJP alone winning above 310 seats meaning more number of seats than the last time and NDA all together together winning above 360 seats. On the other hand, the market bearish and bad case scenario will be BJP as a single party failed to cross the absolute majority and forming the government with the help of NDA. Then the final even very very worst and carnage scenario will be NDA all together cannot able to form the government. In this case, market might even fall near 20%. I mean, this carnage scenario did happen in 2004, like most of the exit poll at that time predicted the continuation of NDA government, but Congress came as the single largest party, so in one single day, Nifty dropped over 20%. So, we cannot rule out those. Then, in 2009, as a consequence, market didn't believe the exit poll when they said it will be continuation of the government. So, before the result day, there was no election rally and the 2008 recession market dip made the nifty very attractive. Hence, in 2009 when Congress came, market increased near 18% in one single day and that's the last time on the result day market increased or decreased crazy. Moving on, in 2014 market increased only 1%. In fact, in 2014 market didn't react at all to the exit poll despite exit poll predicted that BJP alone might win the majority. Then finally in 2019, despite BJP alone crossing above 300 seats, market closed on the negative note minus 0.7%. So, at present, I think 2014 and 2019 election day price action is somewhat relevant. So, let's look at those in detail. If required, please pause and have a look. In both year, Nifty opened a gap up. In 2014, 2% gap up and in 2019, 1% gap up. And in both year, market was very very volatile. In 2014, the difference between the day's high and day's low was massive 6%. If we compare to the today's Nifty value, it comes as 1400 points volatile in one single day. Where in 2019, that volatility was decreased but still then also it was around 4%. Clearly, both the days were really volatile. Here, the positive increase reason might be due to short covering, whereas the pull down was mainly due to the profit booking. So, probably same might happen today. I mean, again, if required, please pause and have a look. On last Friday end, FIA got the index short position of near 86%. That at the end of yesterday, they reduced it to 72%. But still, 72% holding is a massive short position. Similarly, retail people last Friday hold around 69% long that now they reduced it to 63%. So, there is a high chance both of them might unwind their long and short position today which I expect it to cause the volatility. By chance, if NDA comes close to 375 to 400 mark, then that will be massive boost for the market. At that time, maybe that will make some people to wait for profit booking whereas it might make the FA to rush and close their position. So that's my take. Let's hope for the positive trade today. One more thing. At present, Nifty trades at 22.1 PE ratio, which I personally think it's the fair valuation. But during December, this PE ratio increased all the way up to 24. According to me, 24 PE ratio is a overvalued, but let's see. Just for info, like how we do technical analysis on Nifty price chart, we can do the same technical analysis on Nifty P ratio chart as well. Based on that, the immediate resistance will be 22.4 which equals to 23,700 followed by 24,200. Whereas on the downside, the support is 21.4 P ratio and the equivalent Nifty value is 22,500. 
So that's all I want to highlight about the Nifty's price action. Let's move to the US market. Last night their market opened positive but however unfortunately manufacturing PMI dropped more than what analysts expected which immediately puts pressure on all three major index. However yesterday in New York Stock Exchange last night there was a technical glitch in their trading platform which looks like caused the massive confusion and somehow made the S&P 500 and Nasdaq to close on the positive note. I mean I don't think we need to bother much since it doesn't matter for the Indian market. But the takeaway is global momentum is not good despite Nasdaq and S&P 500 closed positive. Regarding gift nifty at early morning 3 o'clock it closed at 23,514 equating it with our spot market it's indicating the gap up opening of around 50 points. About oil, OPEC plus countries made an announcement that they are going to extend their voluntary oil output cut by 2.2 million barrels per day of oil until the end 2025. However, they also said the statement that they will start phasing out the cut from third quarter which crashed the oil price near 4%. At the time of this video, WTA crude oil closed at around 74 US dollars per barrel and Brent crude closed at 78 US dollars per barrel. As a summary, as everyone expecting, I am also expecting the election results. Possibly that might create a huge volatility today. So please be cautious. As I said, we cannot rule out the possibility of both profit booking as well as short covering. Global momentum wise, it's slightly deteriorated compared to last Friday. Moving on about the things to look out, obviously please look out for the election results. Other than that, during our market time at 1.30 pm, Germany's May month unemployment rate is due to release and in the night for US, number of available job openings are some of the items we need to keep an eye out today. Coming to technical, yesterday as we know Nifty opened massive gap up 800 points and even though there was some profit booking at the initial hour but still it ended roughly near the opening. Thus on the daily chart it formed the hanging man kind of pattern formation which is a bearish reversal pattern usually occurs at the top of the trend. However, on the positive side, Nifty had a breakout from previous swing high, formed a higher high higher low formation. At present, it's trading well above all key moving averages. Furthermore, the daily and hourly RSA momentum indicator all got a positive crossover. So all indicating possibly the start of a next leg of up move in the short term. Anyway, technically immediate resistance as I said earlier 23,700 with immediate psychological support 23,000 followed by 22,500. In case of Bank Nifty, it opened 1,900 points gap up and finally it closed at the record new closing high 50,980. Thus, on the daily chart, Bank Nifty formed a small bodied bullish candlestick pattern with a long lower shadow, indicating solid buying interest at lower level. In addition, it maintained a higher high higher low formation for another session with a positive bias in most momentum indicators like RSI and MACD etc. Hence, we can expect the positive momentum to continue with 50,000 as the crucial support from the short term perspective. On the weekly options data, the maximum call option open interest was at 24,000 strike followed by 23,500 and 24,500 with maximum new call option writing at 24,000 strike then 24,500 and 24,200. Whereas on the put side the maximum open interest was at 22,500 strike followed by 23,000 and 22,600 with maximum new put option writing at 23,200 strike then 23,500 and 22,500. Thus from options data it's indicated that 23,500 is likely to be the next resistance for nifty with immediate support at 23,000. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. So it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment decision based on this as not a SEBI registered advisor. I am doing this for me and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.